How do you do? My name is John, also known as Dad. I make tutorials with a focus on WordPress and web development. I also travel the world and work from home with my wife and five kids, so if you hear random noises in the background, that's just us. Today we're going to be building a landing page using Beaver Builder and Beaver Builder themes inside of WordPress. If you're not familiar with Beaver Builder, it is the best page builder for WordPress with a focus on simplicity and getting things done quickly. There is a free version, or you can pay for an extended feature set. I personally started paying for this once I realized how much time it saves me. Let's go ahead and dive right into the tutorial though. I have a fresh WordPress install with Beaver Builder and the Beaver Builder themes already installed and ready to go. I'm going to go over to my pages here to set up a landing page. You see I have the default privacy policy and the sample page inside of here that WordPress already added in. I'm just going to click add new at the top over my pages and we'll call this landing page. Go ahead and under the template here, I'm going to change it from default template to no header and footer. By default, Beaver Builder does have a header and footer built into it with the logo area, menu, and all of that normal stuff you would get inside of a theme. But I want to remove that completely so I can start from scratch. Go ahead and click publish when you're done. Now typically you wouldn't publish pages right away, but I'm just working on a, a sample site here, so I'm not too worried about it going live. And you'll also notice here I have the URL tutorials.simple.com but it has a slash index.php slash landing page. I don't want that index.php to show, so I'm going to go into my settings and go to permalinks. And this can change the URL structure and the way that it displays on the front end to the user and is great for SEO purposes. I'm going to change mine to use the default post name, so it'll be tutorials.simple.com slash whatever the page is, uh, which in this case is just going to be tutorials.simple.com because it'll be my landing page, so there will be no URL. But at least it sets me up in the future so it can be slash about, slash contact us, slash whatever, without the index.php in there because that's just ugly. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And I will go back to my pages here. You'll see landing page should have been saved. And I'm going to click on this Beaver Builder at the bottom. What this is going to do is it'll take me to the front end of my website and allow me to edit it. Now it sees this is the first time here, so I can either take the tour or not take the tour. I'm pretty familiar with Beaver Builder, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. Now, over here to the right-hand side, you'll see this little X and plus that brings up additional um, items that you can use to edit your page with. Uh, to the left, there is also an additional tool set that we're not going to get into right now, but this gives you the ability to save templates, duplicate pages, yada, yada. And when you are done editing, you can click done and either discard all of your edits if you mess something up, save draft, or publish it for it to go live. But I'm going to cancel out of that now because we actually have a tutorial to complete here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide how I want my landing page to look. Now, I just want a simple coming soon text centered with, you know, maybe some email address in the middle here. So I'm going to go over to my rows and drag out a one column row. Now, again, if you want a more complicated landing page, you can get two columns to get a form on one side and text on the other. Get crazy with it. But uh, we're just going to do one row for this tutorial to keep it nice and simple. And now I'm going to grab my modules here. Modules will contain everything that I need as far as photos, uh, text headings, anything like that. Any widgets that WordPress might add on will all be underneath here. Let me go ahead and grab my photo and drag it out. All right, so I'm going to select my logo that I created in all of two minutes. Let's drag that into here. And you can call it whatever you want. You can give it a title, simple tutorials. Select photo. All right, so my logo is going to show inside of my column that I just placed. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add some text underneath it. So I'm going to grab this uh, text uh, header right here, heading. And if you notice, when you drag and drop it outside of here, you can place it above or below it. I'm going to put mine below it. 
and we'll say um, coming soon. Uh, so inside of Beaver Builder, you can come over here and you can edit the style of that particular text. You can edit the margins, whether or not it displays differently on, I'm going to resize this, whether or not it displays differently on uh, different device sizes and whatnot. But those are all things you can just kind of you know, play with and see what it's like. But I'm going to click to make sure that I have that item selected and I want to change my alignment to center. Change that heading to H2, make it a little bit larger. And if you're still not happy with the size of it, you can actually go through and um, change it from this font size of default to custom and change the size manually. So I can bump that up to like 48. Coming soon. All right. And if I want to get the logo and the coming soon closer together, I can come up to advanced, change my margin for that logo to zero. I'm sorry for that coming soon text. And you, know, you can also edit it for the logo. And that'll butt those right up next to each other. Um, and then go through and just play with it, you know? See what you like, how you like it. Maybe you want the text a little bit uh, smaller, not 483. I wanted to type 36. There you go. So you can just play around with it. Um, you do have the alignment on your mobile layout. If you would like to preview your mobile layout, you can come up here to this left hand drop down. And I know what's in here. Preview layout. And then you can see what it looks like both on this screen and smaller devices. But I'm going to go back to continue editing. Let's go ahead and make this look a little bit nicer. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this uh, background right here that you see white. We'll add in a background image and make it the full height of the browser and the full width of the browser as well and then center this text within that element. So let me go ahead and go into settings. Don't. Now that I have those settings open, what I'm gonna do is come down here to my background and change the type from none to photo. Scroll down a bit further and select that photo. I grab this random abstract background here that we can plug in and I'm going to click select photo. So you'll notice right now it's this uh, abstract background, but you can't really see it very well. Um, so I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And again, this is in my row settings for the entire row. If I click on this little row settings icon, I'm going to change the width to full width. What this is going to do is it's going to make the row at a full width and the content is still going to be at a fixed width so that it doesn't, uh, if you have text inside of here or something, it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the user screen. If you would like your content to go to the full width, you can change content to full width as well. Um, it doesn't really matter in this tutorial. And then I'm going to change my height from default to full height. Now this will put it at 100% of the browser's uh, window height and give that background that full back uh, that full effect right there. Scrolling back right down to my background photo. Um, the repeat is set to none, position is center, scroll is scroll, and uh, the width is fill, which is going to give it that, or the scale is fill, sorry, which is gonna give it that full scale effect. Now, some of the text gets kind of hard to read whenever you have it like this. Um, so you can actually add in a background overlay and what this will do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in white F, 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 and pump up the opacity a bit here. So that's just going to give it kind of an overlay on the background so that your text can pop a bit more. I hit cancel. Watch this. All right. Let's go into settings. Full width. Full height. Come down here, select a photo for the background image, select photo, grab it, select. This is a good thing showing you how quick this can be. Background overlay, one, two, three, four. And opacity, 75. Now instead of clicking cancel, click save. There you go. Um, so nice and quick, you can come in if you want this text to say coming soon, and then uh, if you want to add a link below it, you can um, pull in, let's add in a little button down here, grab and drag that. 
And the button text can be uh, contact us in the meantime. And then it can be mail to simplejohn at gmail.com. That's my email if you ever need to get a hold of me. Feel free to. We'll go into style of this and set the alignment to center because it's nice to center align things. And then that blue doesn't really go with anything else. So let's change the background to like an orange or something crazy like that. All right, so you can go in and play with this, mess it up as much as you want, do whatever you want with it. But this will give you the idea of having a basic landing page. And I super hope your logo looks better than that because this one is really bad. But uh, you can go in and set up this landing page. And whenever you're done, just click Done and Publish. And this is what the landing page looks like. Um, so I can go back to my WordPress tutorials uh, WordPress site here. And um, the last thing I want to check to do is see if that landing page is showing as my home page, and it is not. So currently I have blog posts set up as my home page. So I'm going to go back into WordPress, go into my settings, and we are going to go into reading and change your home page to display from your latest post to a static page. And from static page, I'm going to click my landing page, save changes. Now when I go back to WordPress tutorials and refresh that, you'll see my home page is this incredible landing page that we've created. Right, so if you are not a great designer or like me, you're trying to throw something together real quick for a tutorial and you don't like what you did, you can actually go in back into Beaver Builder. I'm gonna come down to the bottom here of my column, click this little X button and click OK. I'm gonna delete everything. Now if I go to the upper right hand corner to this plus sign and click on templates, you can actually see that Beaver Builder has predefined landing page templates. They also have content page templates. But I'm gonna grab this coming soon landing page template and look at that. I have an entire coming soon page already done. I can go in and tweak the settings of it um, because I do like full height landing pages. Click save. And then just go in and tweak everything. Edit the icon. I want this to go to my Facebook page. So I change the Facebook URL. I mean, you can go through and um, take this predefined landing page, go in, make it exactly how you want it. Click done, publish, and look, you have a beautiful landing page and that was literally seconds. If you didn't like this tutorial, I'm sure I'll have other ones coming, but this is my first. So congratulations, you made it through it. And I will see you guys on the next video.